the Lincoln Tunnel. It is now 551. We're less than a month away from the ING New York City Marathon. And as runners get ready, we know they're thinking about training, nutrition, sleep, All things that, like that. That good stuff I don't think about ever. <laughs> Unless you're Cat Greenleaf and you're worried about what you're going to wear. <laughs> Cat, is that what's on your mind, girlfriend? I know, it's really shallow, isn't yeah, it? You're not shallow at well, all. But you are you fabulous, so, so you need to look line. good. Well, you definitely want to look good because 26.2 <laughs> miles is a long way for these legs to go and it's going to take a really long time to finish, let's be honest. I just want to be sure I'm dressed appropriately and if possible, fashionably. And it's a good thing for me and other overly concerned or overly vain runner types <laughs> that there's a new look out on the course, the running skirt. It's not scientifically proven, but you might run faster if you look cuter. You feel more confident in yourself, and so hopefully that, that translates to your running. And the latest in fitness fashion, the combo skirt and short, or the skort. You get the comfort of a bike short and the coverage of long shorts. If you ever run in longer shorts, they tend to bunch up, and the skirts do not bunch up between your legs when you're running. Runner's World editor Tish Hamilton says there's a skirt for every set of legs. This Lululemon is quite short, which is good for short people. There's a longer one with more flair. This is New Balance for the taller women and who want more coverage. The Brooks skirt is very, very lightweight. The Prana skirt is a little bit heavier, and it's also a great one for doing um, yoga and stretching. The skirts range between 40 and 70 bucks and are available in most running and sporting goods shops. And New York Roadrunner's Ann Crandall says they should be topped off to taste. Some people have lucky shirts. Some people have shirts that they feel good in. And that's probably the best shirt for them. That's the official word on the skirt. But what's the word on the street? Cute. Can you hold on one second? Would you wear this skirt for running? Yeah. Would you wear one? Uh, not at my age. <laughs> I guess the skirt's not for everyone. It looks fairly loud. So. What are you saying? You're saying I'm a bad dresser? I'm saying you can't pull it off. Apparently. You say I can't pull it off? What? <laughs> well, you know, you can't please all the people all the time, I guess. And despite what that guy thought, I am a fan of the squirt. I've been training in them and I plan to wear one on Marathon Day. Just hope that guy doesn't show up to comment. <laughs> to find out what skirt is right for you and where to find it, sprint on over to WNBC.com. Click on As Seen On For New York. By the way, the marathon is Sunday, November 2nd, and you can watch it right here live. So nice. tune in. I love how you're interviewing that with guy? your iPod in. Well, I know. Yeah, I know. Well, By the way. In between training. <laughs> yeah. She actually just do, was, did a quick That's story. how much she's training. Yeah, that's she right. It never work. stops. I mean, Who's that guy? What some meanie. I, well, I don't, right. he didn't have an appreciation for fashion. That's my fashion. That's right. He, you look great. Thank yes. you. Thanks, Kat. Thank, Thank you. All right. <laughs> well, it's 554.